protesting. They've been protesting against uh, missing persons, people who've been pulled up forcibly, pulled away from Balochistan for a while now, ladies and gentlemen, across the length and breadth of Pakistan. And now they have taken this protest to Geneva, where the triannual meeting of the UN Human Rights Council is currently underway. Joining us now, and let's go straight across to him, is Munir Mangal, one of the Baloch activists. He's also a human rights activist. He is now in Geneva. Munirji, namaste. Thank you very much for speaking with us. Since when are you doing this demonstration and what's your objective? Uh, actually, my organization, Voice for Baloch Missing Person, with in coordination with other two Baloch organizations, Voice for Baloch Missing Persons, hmm. they are protesting on daily basis at Quetta, Karachi, and uh, at Islamabad. Hmm. So for the Baloch missing persons hmm. and uh, a Baloch political party called Baloch People's Congress, they are also you know, aligned on this uh, photo and banner exhibition. Hmm. We are holding this photo and banner exhibition at the occasion of United Nations 52 Human Rights Council session here at front of United Nations Geneva. Okay. So the purpose of this demonstration is to get the UN bodies, UN reporters and UN member states' attention uh, on the issues which the Baloch people are facing. So a um, UN member state called Islamic Republic of Pakistan, hmm. our army forces are disappearing, kidnapping hmm. the people from houses, from schools, from colleges, from streets, including hmm. women, children. So we have presented a data which have been collected by Vice for Baloch Basic Persons from the ground okay. as per that data for the in the year 2022 only only mm. for the this year that more than 787 so as per this data that this, this is the number which has been collected by them these are the very uh, verified cases uh, so only that organization has sent to us that this number of people has been disappeared by force by the Pakistani security forces. Ma Munirji, how long have you been protesting and has there been any response from the UNHRC? For the, and have the people of Balochistan benefited? So the Baloch, they have seen this practice of the Pakistani army uh, since Pakistan occupied Balochistan in February 1948, when they occupied us, and at that, since then, at different times, we have seen that they have, uh, you know, thrown uh, live human beings from helicopters. They have put live human by bodies in uh, charcoal, boiling charcoal. So this is the practice. That's the routine practice of Pakistan. So uh, since last decade, more than uh, you can say 15 years, it has been intensified. Uh, 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 when the Baloch start resisting, when the Baloch start asking Pakistan to take your forces from our land, so Pakistani army intensifies her acts. So they have now intensified it so high that the number as per different organizations is more than 50,000 Baloch people. They are lingering in uh, Pakistani military torture cells. And the Baloch women, they are being uh, abused sexually in Pakistani military torture cells. This is the claim. This is the our plea. This has been our request to different UN bodies. UN Working Group on Enforced Disappearances, UN Committee on Enforced Disappearances, two different reporters. But uh, on the contrary, contrary, what we have seen, that mm. Working Group on Enforced Disappearances visited mm. pa Pakistan, visited Baluchistan in September 2012. Gee. And right. after that, they have not visited. And in their that visit, they themselves said that they met with family members. And as per the uh, UN Working Group, from multiple sources, they got this information that the number of missing persons is in thousands. But Munirji, let me ask you this. You have the numbers, you have raised your voice. How many nations or governments in Europe have actually taken cognizance of this? Uh, uh, yeah, we have, you know, written different letters to different uh, parliamentary members, European hmm. parliamentary members particularly, and the country parliamentary members as well, Gee. at hmm. different occasions. Uh, on the other side, here at the UN, here is a procedure that's called UPR, Universal Periodic Review. So yeah. there have been four cycles of Pakistan UPR. 
Unfortunately, there are multiple questions, more than 25 questions from different states. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yet Pakistan has not responded. So from, uh, you know, earlier uh, cycles, they have raised the issue of enforced disappearance. They have asked questions to Pakistan. They have asked Pakistan to ratify the uh, UN conventions uh, 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 against enforced disappearances. But Pakistan is a state that neglects and does not reply. So this is what, you know, Pakistan herself mm -hmm. is trying to cheat UN and international bodies and states. Mm -hmm. And uh, we think that this cheating method will not work for a long time as, you know, it is not working with IMF. I have another question. There are reports of Chinese activity in Balochistan. How true is it? Is Pakistan allowing a free run of Chinese businesses and also Chinese military personnel in the garb of labor? So we have, you know, some banners, particularly with respect to CPAC, in that mm. we are showing that the Chinese, how the Chinese presence is uh, on our ground and what the people uh, are receiving from these CPAC projects and how the people are being treated. So mm. there was a one phase at that time, they forced, you know, mass displacement because they were in need of land. So they uh, cordoned off areas and then asked the people leave this area because they need it for CPAC projects. So there was a complete process of displacement. And after that, uh, uh, when the people started asking for their rights, economic rights particularly uh, attached to the CPAC under the, the mm -hmm. army started you know uh, attacking them they started you know cordoned off those areas and the local peoples they were not allowed to go there and they built right. a system of you know special passes like visas that mm -hmm. the Baloch people cannot go to visit the Baloch cities without the permission so th God. this has been the uh, reaction of the state to the people uh, on the other side, when we see the Chinese presence on our ground, hmm. there, you know, uh, there are m many projects, uh, Sendak project, the CPAC projects, and there are uh, some, you know, hilly areas where hmm. the people expect that uh, there, uh, there is a uranium in those mountains. Yes, so right. there, the uh, Palestine government officials are not allowed to go there. My God. So the, even the Pakistani, uh, the, the, the Baluchistan government secretary resources or a uh, Baluchistan uh, provincial minister, chief minister, nobody is allowed. So the, and they do not, you know, share any information, information about the Chinese engagement with the with those parliamentary members. Though the Pakistani government recognizes them as the parliamentary members of the Baluchistan, but Pakistan mm -hmm. does not share any information with them. Well, Munir Mangalji, thank you for speaking with us and to bring, uh, for bringing to light some of these issues that you focused on. Uh, thank you.